Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Chris, otherwise known as Hypocrisy. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is some search on Redwood. It's not really a gameplay, so please don't take much notice of the uh, of the footage. Something that I kept on my hard drive is like a backup that I got in like the first week of the game. It's like a 13 and 2 comeback win. Oh, I have a really bad first two rounds, as you'll see, but uh it's not something I'd normally post, but I don't really want to focus too much on the gameplay, so just kind of see that in the background, but focus more on the commentary piece, other than this ridiculously average footage. But yeah, today's uh, today's video is titled The Most Wonderful Time of the Year, which actually references some very famous lyrics from a very famous Christmas song. I'm not going to talk about Christmas, that's not really what I wanted to talk about, but I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you a very... Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, if I don't speak to you beforehand. Have a fantastic one with all your families. And just remember that family is exactly what this time of year is about. Nothing else. It's the most important thing. So, you know, enjoy it, guys. Please have a have a, have a wonderful time with all of your loved ones. But um, as I said, yeah, today I'm talking about the most wonderful time of the year being December 2015. I'm going to tell you why it's been the most wonderful time of the year. And it might sound slightly strange... Maybe a bit corny, a bit nerdy, but that's me, to be honest. But I saw The Force Awakens, the new Star Wars movie, on Sunday the 20th, which was two days after it premiered uh, worldwide, and it was honestly phenomenal. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking, why the hell are you about to talk about Star Wars in a commentary? But I felt prompted to make this commentary because I spoke to a few people about it, and some people have kind of un understood the magnitude behind it for me. But others obviously won't understand that, and I just felt like some of you will probably be be able to relate to this. Some of you won't, but with every sort of big franchise, there's always people that are obviously going to love it really passionately, and then there's going to be people that dislike it or hate it for whatever reason. the The movie itself was just amazing, and I don't want this video to actually be like a review of the movie. I'm not going to talk about anything to do with the film. I appreciate there might be people that haven't seen it yet, and there might be people just who want to troll me and say that they thought it was awful and stuff, that's fine, Like you have your own opinion, but Star Wars for me, and probably for a lot of people, maybe some of you who are listening to this video, was, it kind of moulded my entire childhood, you know, right down to the fact where I was, when I was a kid, I used to put my, my dad's dressing gown on and run around the house with my toy lightsaber pretending I was a Jedi, and, uh, <laughs> and you know, playing with my friends, acting Star Wars stuff out, playing video games, having all of the toys... It really was a huge, huge part of my life. Like I cannot stress that enough to you. I remember where I was the first time I watched A New Hope, which is episode four, uh, the very first movie they released back in the 70s, I believe, which, you know, is 30, 40 years ago. It's insane that they're, they're now making movies again within this franchise, and it's still hugely successful and hugely popular. It's, it's fantastic. But I remember I was lying down uh, on my on my carpet in my front room. I'd woken up really early, and my dad said, look, you know, you, you can't, we can't get up yet for the day. He recorded it on VHS, so it had been on the night before, and you know, you used to have to record things on like videotape. So he taped it for me. He was like, "Sit down, and watch this." And uh, I remember, <laughs> I remember watching it, and like, the, there's a scene you guys will know if you've seen the film. But there's like a droid market where Luke Skywalker and his uncle go and purchase droids. And uh, I just remember thinking, "What on earth is this?" Like, my dad had obviously already seen it before. Uh, but I, I sort of persisted, and then I watched it. I think four more times the same day. <laughs> like, it just it just captured me like so much. And to be honest, when I watched the new one the other day, this is going to sound really bent, but I was really emotional at the end. It I did I couldn't even talk. I couldn't even speak afterwards. Like it it was so amazing to see the same concept of the movie and a similar storyline. And just things that I've grown up with, watching on TV and and playing with as a, as a child, now in this kind of new modern CGI part real way of filming. Like you know, when you when you take something and with today's technology, it's obviously going to be completely different. But it was just phenomenal. Like J.J. Abrams, who directed it, was just did an insanely good job. And it, I honestly have not seen a better film. In I, I can't even remember honestly, and I hope you're getting the impression of how <laughs> how much it it really hit me. But I, I, I me and my dad drove home. We went to see it together, which was kind of nice because he was the guy that actually got me into it in the first place. So to, to kind of revisit it with him was something that I'll always remember for the rest of my life, and it was really cool. 
but honestly, like we didn't, we could, we could barely speak on the way home. It was just, oh, like, like honestly, I, I couldn't even get the words out. It was just amazing, and I just kind of wanted to to put that across to some of you guys because I know that you you, you do relate to things throughout your childhood, and and to see it sort of come full circle when I'm an adult now, and I, it, it's a generational thing. So I'll hopefully pass this down to my kids, but. You know, it was a truly special moment for me, and um, you know, for those of you that have seen it as well, I really do. I really do hope you en- you enjoyed it and uh, share the same share the same opinions. Because it was amazing, but it was a really amazing round off to the year, and it was a moment that I'll always remember forever, and I'll take with me. Um, so let me know if you've had a similar experience, not necessarily with Star Wars, but um, it's a, it's a time for sharing, and I wanted to share something with you guys. And honestly, I want to see it again immediately. It was it was fantastic. Um, so yeah let me know if you guys A enjoyed the film and B you know whether you've had a similar experience in your life but um, check out the bonus clip I really do hope you enjoy it and uh, I really do hope you have a fantastic Christmas and New Year when you get spoiled you get everything you want and uh, you know you uh, get nice and drunk to be honest because that's what I fucking do these days (laughs) but uh, honestly guys all the best Uh, I love you and I will see you in 2016 goodbye Overdrive ready. MTL exhausted. End this now. Bomb planted. <laughs> 